Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here once again. They say to everything there is a flow. Chuang Tzu famously said, flow with whatever is happening and let your mind be free. But sometimes we need to be able to do more than just understand the concept of flow. We need to be able to measure it. Take airflow, for example. There are times when being able to measure air velocity can be crucial. Air velocity measurement can be extremely helpful in HVAC systems to maintain peak efficiency. Or maybe you've got a server room through which you need to constantly measure the airflow to make sure that nothing is overheating. You may even be an engineer at NASA working on laminar flow control in an attempt to greatly improve aircraft fuel usage. Now, for at least two of these, a handheld anemometer isn't going to work. It's just going to be too big and clunky. What you need is something smaller and simple to use. I think there's a good chance what you need is the new SparkFun Air Velocity Sensor Breakout. The Air Velocity Sensor Breakout is an incredibly simple board, thanks to the incredible amount of technology packed into the tiny FS3000 Air Velocity Sensor module from Renesis. Everything that this breakout does happens within the 8x9x3.7 millimeter module. Drawing just 10 milliamps, the FS3000 features digital output over I2C with 12-bit resolution. The sensor comprises a solid thermal isolation technology and silicon carbide coating to protect it from abrasive wear and water condensation, and has a velocity range of 0 to 7.23 meters per second, or 16.17 miles per hour. We've broken out the pins for voltage and ground, the I2C data and clock pins, plus the ADC reference pin and the VCM pin, which provides a common bias voltage. The back of the board has jumpers for the ADC reference, plus the power LED and an I2C jumper, in case you're using multiple I2C devices on the same bus. One important thing to note with this module is that it is unidirectional, but don't worry, we've clearly marked the flow direction in the silk on the board. Now, as always, we've written an Arduino library to quickly get you up and running. I took this module, connected it to my Redboard Quick, loaded the example, and in seconds, it was up and running, giving me both air velocity in miles per hour and meters per second. But I wanted to do more than that. I wanted to actually test it out. So I connected it to an ESP32 Thing Plus, gave it Bluetooth connectivity, and then wrote a quick app on my phone using MIT's App Inventor so that I could remotely monitor the air velocity. I'm gonna go up and put this in our HVAC vent work and see what happens. This should only take seconds with no unforeseen problems. Be right back. Come out to the coast. We'll get together, have a few laughs. Well, that didn't go quite as smoothly as planned, but the monitor is up and in our HVAC vent. Now all I have to do is connect to it with my phone and we can start monitoring the airflow up there. Let's see, connect to our chosen Bluetooth. And there it is. So it looks like the air velocity is about two and a quarter, two and a half, about two and a half meters per second. It really is that simple to get up and running with this amazing little sensor. Now, I spent under $75 and took maybe half an hour, including building the app, to get a wireless air velocity monitor. Now, if a quick look online, it'll show you that you can spend anywhere from five to 10 times that for a wireless monitor like this. It really is that easy. So whether you're an engineer at NASA working on laminar flow control, or just somebody who wants to know the air velocity coming out of the end of his Alphorn. I mean, come on, it is Oktoberfest season. Well, either way, you're gonna wanna grab the new SparkFun air velocity sensor breakout. Pick up yours over at sparkfun.com, and of course, stay safe, be kind, and yippee ki -yay, happy hackers. Rob Reynolds here. Yep. <laughs> what am I selling? Air velocity measurement can bleed. Can bleed? Can bleed. Bleed? <laughs> of course, I spent half an hour looking up laminar flow control and NASA and <laughs> what they're doing with it. George, cancel my afternoon appointments. I sure hope that's what it's called. <laughs>